Okay, folks. And we're getting the racks on. Now we're putting solar panels up there. And look at them love kits I got underneath these panels. I guess it's about a total of close to nine inches underneath these panels. And the camera's starting to fog up a little bit. So, and right now they're going around torquing up the uh, bolts. To the mid clamps are 120 inch pounds. 120 inch pounds. And I saw a CDI torque wrench I bought. And he's talking around 120 inch pounds. And those are Iron Ridge XRS or the soft grinding um, type of uh, mid clamps. As y'all can see here. There's the box. See the, little, see the little teeth on them? They ground right into your anodizing to make it one complete ground. Pretty awesome. And now he's going to do the end clamps. And the end clamps are 65 inch pounds, uh, Brandon. Correct. That guy knows his stuff. One of my key construction guys. Yeah, you can watch this video tonight. Check it all out and everything. He's a, a Brandon's a big gamer. He gets on uh, PlayStation. He plays games and whips everybody. Isn't that right, Brandon? Do what? Don't you, you whip everybody on PlayStation? Yeah. What's your favorite game? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto V. All right. What's your uh, handle? My name, Brandon Sosa. There you go. And yeah, that's where you can find him on uh, PlayStation and y'all can whip him. Or he can try to whip you, one or the other. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go over here. They're putting uh, the, uh, what's the thing called again, Ryan? Uh, Ryan? Collar. Putting a flex collar in to put, to put our electrical service in for our PV. I'll get over there in just a second. Alright, hold up, y'all. Alright, y'all. He's putting his flex collar in. Uh, for the electrical service for the PV so I can run it straight down and conduit to my uh, to my combiner box but he's doing that now and doing the shingle thing and getting the nails out and getting there to trim them around and put a two inch hole saw in there and do the job so looking good all right Oh, that's, that's a good shot there, Brandon. <laughs> oh, we like, we, we're having a good time, y'all. We're having a good time. Just say no to... Oh, I gotta say that. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, it's I'm, I'm gonna get another shot of this, y'all. But that, that's, a, that's a heck of a lift kit. I call it a lift kit, yeah. I got four-wheel drive trucks. Uh, but look at, look at that standoff. And you got the L feet and your, and your XRS rails make it even t taller. Good airflow. That's what I'm talking about. Right, let, me, let me get you another shot on this, y'all. Alright. And we got another pan the other panels laying there so we can run our PV cable through there. Yep. Alright. Over and out. Be back in a minute. Okay. Y'all. He is. Still putting a flush collar on. Uh, do, working on that. And that's what the uh, that's what the rails look like. And you get the PV panel over there. That's how much air clearance it's got. Clearance it's got for the air to flow through there. It's pretty bad at the bone. And you got to have a cushion up there on that hot, them hot shingles. I mean, it's probably 100 and some degrees right now, and it's 10, 30 in the morning, probably 100 degrees on that roof already. All right, now we're going to go to the other side, and I'll give you a little tour of what we got. All right, now hold up. Here's a view, y'all, of the panels from the back, from the north side, and you can see the clearance, and they're flush. A little bit below the ridge cap, ridge. There they are. We'll have six up there all together. 
and there is the natural light solar attic fan. And I raise it a little higher where I get optimal uh, airflow for, from the solar. And I got it pointing toward the south as much as possible. And that's where we've got to add our other panel. Uh, that's where they're working on that flex cap and for our electrical service entrance for the PV, for photovoltaics. All right. And I'll give you another little shot here in a second. Okay, folks, here's what she looks like with the, with the new extensions and the rails. You want those panels high up off the roof? I do anyway to get plenty of airflow. Hey Brandon, yeah. come over here. Come over here. Yeah, XRS rails. Um, quick, quick mount PV mounts. Great airflow. Yeah, I just want to show you all that. A whole new system starting out fresh. All right, folks, I will catch you back later. Over and out. Okay, now we are putting our bottom um, quick mount PV mounts down for the, the lower array and put them down. So it's doing a good job. So yeah, it's going to be looking tough. And I'll come back later, y'all. Okie dokie. Y'all have a good one. This is KBSMC, or Kenneth W. Vire Jr. Simplify over and out. We'll be back shortly. Okay, folks, we're back again. And uh, we're working on the bottom rail section now um, these are going to be like a tilt mount and these are quick mount PV mounts you see the little block underneath of them and we got them diverted to the side where the rain will shed off of them and these are the brackets we're going to use to tilt, tilt up the panels we're about to get the right angle the better angle that we want so that's those and I'll slide out a little bit. And we got three on each thing, on each mount. We have six all together on this this other ray, just like the top. More strength for hurricanes or bad windstorms and all good stuff. And there's that one. Right there. So yeah, I just want to give you a little update. And here's the the other one here. It's on the flatter part of the roof. That's what they look like. So we're gonna have to cut, do some trimming and cutting on the aluminum to get them to, to the angle that we need to get close to 53 degree angle, close to that, which would be great. Get more winter time. Uh, more wintertime and more summertime uh, power, or you know, all year round. That is kind of get a happy medium all year round. Is what what, I, what we're looking for as our as our goal. But yeah, looking good so far. And everything I got came from Alt E, the Alt E store. And the IQ Construction is giving me a hand, doing a heck of a job. I'm not lying. They're fully insured and licensed and all that good stuff, so they're a great company. And they do tree work too. Yep. And excavating. We all saw on the thing. Uh, we'll get back on that later. Alright. Well, we'll be back shortly. Give you some more updates after we get the rails and all that stuff on there and maybe putting some panels up. Okie dokie, y'all. Y'all take care. All right. Bye-bye. Be back in a little bit. Bye. Hey, y'all. I'm back again. And this is day 
day three, or part three of my video. And you see I got a new uh, flex cap with my service, electrical service from a PV going to conduit now. We came with that idea, say, well, we just run like a vent cap and put PVC you know, conduit in it. So, great idea, good mind, think alike. So, there it is. And no water or nothing get in there, and it's all completely sealed and all that good stuff. And it tighten and makes everything nice and neat and tightens it, makes everything tidy. And good wiring, and there's my ground. And got everything grounded. Now I got a pretty good lift off there, get plenty of airflow. And my conduit runs down. As you see, it comes right through here. And it gets through the overhang and comes down. Comes into my combiner box. And there she is. A whole lot cleaner than what I had before. Here she is, a midnight solar surge arrestor. Alright, I'll show you some, I'll show you the rails. There's my rails. On the tilt legs. You can see the tilt legs right here. I keep stopping the rail plus the Not a real good incline, you know what I'm saying? It's on the incline, so we've got to tilt them to make them right. And uh, it's going to be a whole lot better angle than what I had before, so I'll get right much more power. Alright, I'll take you and show you the rails from a distance. Okay. Okay, folks, here we have our rails for the next set of array, uh, array of panels. And there's the XR, Iron Ridge XRS system. And right in there is our conduit for our, our service entrance. We're going to go to that combine, then it's going to go to straight from underneath inside the building to down here to that combine box. We're going to redo all that somewhat and put the gutters up. Yeah, y'all, it is coming along really good. I had to modify these front legs right here and make them shorter. I'll zoom in on that for y'all. I made them shorter so I get the angle that I, that I wanted for the tilt array. See, that's going to turn out pretty good. And I got the front, the top, top rails, the top solar panels already, uh, they're already hooked up, running. They're back. They're back in service. So yeah, I think it looks a whole lot better and producing a whole lot more power too. But anyway, I am dead tired. This is like the third day, and I'm like, whoo, doggy. It's been hot today. It's up like 95 degrees today. It was just a cooker today. But anyway. This is part three of my video. Part three of my video. I want to thank y'all for watching. Y'all have an awesome day. And thank you for watching and please subscribe. This is KBSMC. Over and out. Y'all take it easy now. Bye-bye. Please subscribe. All right now. Bye. Okay, folks. Hey, I'm back again. We just got the electrical service hooked up uh, for the panels to go through the roof, through the, through the um, overhang. Here it is. Right up here. Right there. Do a flex cap. That's a slick trick there. Got my ground hooked up. A little bit of bend in it, but that's okay. And got plenty of clearance. And I'll take you back here in a second. 
Let me see what's going on here with the uh, solar project, solar new roofing project. And they put drippage all around exposed plywood. That's going to help out a lot. Okay. All right, and there's the conduit coming down. We're going to put more conduit and run out of the component box. All right, I need to take you over here. see what's going on. You help with that, bud? I got it. All right. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you very much.